Hello, Leo, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of you guys out there are doing well. So, Leo, this is going to be just a general energy reading. I've already shuffled and meditated over your cards. So, if something here resonates for you, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, comment, and hit that notification bell. Okay, so let's get into this reading, Leo. So, Leo, I feel right now this is a time that possibly your intuition has been talking to you, okay? With this listen deeply. I feel like that maybe you've been getting different signs, different signs, different synchronicities, or you feel like you've been getting different downloads. But it's like some things that like maybe your crown chakra is being activated or spirit guides just want you to listen deeply to these downloads that they're giving you, okay? And these downloads, your intuition could be telling you that maybe there are some friendships and union that you need to think about, okay? This talks about reuniting or reconnecting with some family and friends. Now, these could have been some people that you walked away from or you're no longer dealing with because you guys could have had a bad falling out or, you know, something happened between you guys that, that, that made you walk away, okay? These are people that you feel like you always have to keep your composure with, okay? These are people that always, like, say the wrong, I'm going to say the right thing. They say the right thing to like, get up under your skin or to make you feel some type of way. And it was like you kind of got tired of being around that energy, Leo. So I was like, you kind of kind of went to yourself, you know. But this talks about maybe you were very frustrated with these people. You feel like these people may have took you for granted or they underestimated you in some type of way. So it was like you just chose to be by, your long, by yourself and so that you can gain your composure. But spirit could be wanting you to try to reconnect with these people. So let's pull some energy cards here. Let's see what else is going on for you guys. So what messages do you have for my Leos today, Spirit? What messages do you have for my Leos today, Spirit? I think I'm being called to pull from this other deck, too. I think your messages are going to go a different way. This is a general energy reading, so, you know, we'll see. What messages do you have for my Leos? Okay. So, Leo, you have someone around you that makes, you make them feel so complete, but I feel like this person just doesn't know what to say to you, okay? So, these could be your family, your friends, these could be love relationships, but it's like your energy makes, it's like you shine bright. You bring this bright light into people's lives, and it's like you make people feel so complete. You make people feel so whole, but I feel like because these people, or whomever this person is, they possibly did something to you, and it's like they really don't know what to say to you. So these people could have been off to themselves as well, okay? Like they haven't really communicated to you much, so therefore you ain't really communicating to them, Leo. What messages do you have for my Leos today, Spirit? What messages do you have for my Leos? Okay, spiritual connection. Okay, so whoever this person is that you make them feel so con so um, complete, this person could feel like, or you felt like you and this person shared some type of spiritual connection. So, also, Leo, I feel like this could have been a person, because, you know, we talked about friendships and connections. So, there could be someone that your intuition is telling you or nudging you that maybe this person is wanting to come in and, and reconnect with you, or maybe you need to reconnect with this person. I feel like whomever this was, this is someone that you guys, y'all love each other's energy, or this person, they really did love your energy energy leo you are very passionate this person has been doing a lot of thinking i can't hold a card this person has been doing a lot of thinking about this connection so for some of you maybe this is someone that you're no longer dealing with here what messages do you have for my leos we're gonna pull some more oracle cards and see what happened between you and this person so i feel like for some of you guys this has to do with love and for some of you guys maybe this has to do with family and friends that you walked away. Some of you guys could have been dealing with the water sign, pants, oh, I can even talk Panther. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. And for some of you guys, whatever, so you could have felt like this person was lying to you or or they were doing they weren't being honest with you. So whatever you were accusing this person of, they were guilty as charged. Okay, so let's let me get one more card and we're gonna pull. Here we go, one more card here. And this person is all over the place mentally and emotionally. Why? Because this person, they don't know what to say to you, okay? So this could be someone that owes you some type of an apology, Leo, or maybe you owe this person some type of apology. And I feel like this person has been doing a lot of thinking about it, but this person just don't know what to say. So let's pull some oracle cards here and then we'll pull some tarot. No, I'm just gonna go and pull some tarot. What messages do you have for my Leo today, Spirit? Who is this person that they were dealing with? 
What messages do you have for my Leo today, Spirit? Tell me more about this person that they were dealing with. What messages do you have for my Leos today, Spirit? Tell me more about this person that they were dealing with. What message do you have for my Leos? Okay, so we have the high conference. So for some of you, you could have been dealing with someone who was like very stubborn, okay? This could have been someone who like believed like whatever their belief system was. It's like they didn't want to change it, okay? And it was detrimental to their growth. This could have been someone also that was married with this high offer card. We know the high offer talks about like marriage, spiritual connections, things like this. So this person that you had a spiritual connection with, Leo, this could have been someone who was married at some point in time. This person could have recently got some type of divorce. But I feel like this person, they were very stubborn as well. It was like they weren't listening to their intuition. We had the emperor. Yeah, this is someone who liked to be in control. This is someone who did a lot of logical thinking. Um, but this is someone possibly who did not communicate exactly what they wanted in this connection, okay? And then when we have the lovers here, so I feel like this person is regretting some type of decision. It talks about losing someone you truly desired and not following your heart. Yeah, this emperor here, like I said, they were very stubborn. They were very controlling, and they used their power, I feel like, to manipulate this situation, okay? And if you accuse this person of possibly of dealing with other people, then that was true. And that's why this person is all over the place mentally and emotionally because this person doesn't know how to come in and tell you this truth, okay? I feel like for some of you guys, this person was dealing with someone else, and with the lovers here in reverse, it's like whomever they went toward, now they're regretting their decision, okay? Because because you were the person that they lost that they truly desired okay they didn't follow their heart so they whomever they went towards they went towards someone that i feel like I don't, I don't know why they went towards this person but they weren't following their heart you know they could have been listening to family and friends or other people or they just wasn't they wasn't thinking okay for some of you guys, this person, they didn't express their feelings to you, and this person's very heartbroken because they're regretting this decision that they made, okay? They, some of you guys, you have lost hope for this condition, or this person has lost hope because they know that they did not make the right choice, okay? And they're not choosing to express their feelings. They're not choosing to tell you that they're regretting making the wrong choice, okay? This could have been someone who was very financial, financially stable. This is someone who was very secure, um, this is someone who is very practical, but they weren't very emotional. Okay, Leo, I done made part twos all day. So, Leo, this is the end of this reading. I'm going to start another video. We're going to continue to pull some more messages and see what was going on in this connection. Okay, so meet me for part two. Please like, share, and subscribe.